All right, today we're doing a aquarium net breeder review slash unboxing type of deals. This is the Aquaculture Aquarium Net Breeder. It's an isolation net for birthing, live bearing, wounded, or aggressive fish. Oh my gosh. It comes with all these pieces and it's basically a connect. Like you just bring out your inner child real quick. Obviously don't read the directions at all because that would benefit you too much. We like to do things the hard way on this channel. One side of these is thicker than the other so it has to all go on one specific um, side. So you can't, they're not like, they're not universal. So they have to have one side going into one piece and then one side going into the other. I feel like I'm playing connect. I think that's what it is, right? Connects? You know, those little tinker toy kind of things. Once it's nice and put together, I'm going to put this into this little net thing. And then it has little strings that you pull and you can tie those. We're going to worry about the metal things where we're going to put these out. And what's great about these is that you can easily bend these. So if you need it to go down lower in the tank, I've done it before where I go like that. And then I kind of like head it over the side like that. I don't know if you can see what I mean. See how I gave it an extra like inch of room, but that's not really what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just bend them at a 90 degree angle so that it hangs over the side of the aquarium. And there you go. You put this on the side of the aquarium and then you put the baby fish, the aggressive fish, the sick fish. Okay, no, don't use this for sick fish because like depending on what they have, most things are like transferable. So I don't see how that would work for this. Don't put sick fish in here because it's obviously still able to pass from fish to fish. Be careful because if you have like baby fish that are tiny they'll try to suck them through and it just turns into a really sad mess so always you know use this just just keep an eye on it and make sure that whatever reason that you're separating that fish from the other fish isn't damaging the fish anyways we have two of these i already made another one these things have been around for like Ever. I remember using this exact same looking net when I was like four years old. We would put the guppies in these so that once they had all their babies, we could separate the babies from the mom easier instead of having to go around the tank and find them. So that's what we use this for. But what I find is like really difficult is with like really small baby fish. Uh, you have to be super careful because they can get underneath of this right here and if you pull it out, um, and you set it down or something, you can smash the babies. So be super careful about that because they can still get underneath of all this right down here. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, uh, we're going to separate some of the bettas today into these. I'll show you guys that footage at the end of the video. And uh, overall, where can you get these? Uh, Walmart sells them. Um, pretty much any pet store will sell these. Price match it online because I got these for like $2 on Walmart's website, but Walmart's website's not like, it's not by Walmart. Walmart's website's weird, and I think you guys probably know that if you've ever been to it. It's not actually like actually run by Walmart. This will keep the beta fish, the beta fish separated while I work on their new tank. I will show that to you in a future video because I haven't finished anything. The whole new tanks that I got them exploded in my face and almost killed them and I'm still working on it guys. I'm still trying. I'm trying my hardest but it's just not working. Stick around for footage of these actually being applied in the tank. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.